Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is the reading for the second week of November. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, you can subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading. First, let Let's shuffle four times. I will start with what happened in the past and why it all happened. Then at the end of this reading, there are possible actions towards you, if any. So what happened in the past and why it all happened? The connection was not healthy. It may have been toxic, one-sided. Yes, it was very sexual. There was lots of physical attraction, but the connection didn't have the stability you longed for or you uh, hoped for. So you wanted stability, you wanted something serious. Yes, the connection was very passionate, you were very connected to this person, but uh, at the end it didn't provide the stability you wanted. At the current situation, I think you have chosen to walk away from a situation that was not working, even though sometimes you may be thinking about trying again, but one step at a time, if this connection can provide something uh, solid. But for now, you are not sure about that and you are choosing or trying to to give up. Uh, what is uh, affecting you in your subconscious is the fact that now you have more clarity about the whole situation. Before you were confused, but now you know the truth better, you know the connection and them better. How do you view the situation? Ten of Wands in the reverse. It is what we said previously, that you are choosing to give up. That for you that connection was a big burden, was uh, too much to carry on, uh, too heavy, uh, dramatic many times. And it seemed like you were the only person carrying or trying to carry uh, the connection forward. Now let's see what is the overall energy. It is the Seven of Swords in the reverse. If this person did something wrong or if they cheated or were not honest, the truth may be revealed. There's a tendency... Uh, from the partner that was not honest to come back and apologize as well. Uh, that is the, the energy. Now let's see more details about what is your focus and what is your hope. Your hope is to invest in a connection that is mutual, where, where the love is mutual and uh, the give and take is, uh, is similar, is uh, mutual. So you want a connection where you feel totally in that uh, relationship and when you feel valued and when you get back the same effort that you put into it. Now you have been hurt from this past situation but even though you are trying to give up I don't think you have given up uh, 100%. You are still waiting there a little bit or trying maybe to find a, a mini solution, a quick fix or something like that. You don't trust the connection much, but still I see you being uh, not totally hopeless about that. You are trying to move away, but still maybe some mini hopes you have there for this past connection. Now let's see what is happening with them. What is their energy? They have the page of cups. This person wants to apologize. As I said previously, here it comes again. This person wants to apologize and may want to express some feelings as well. Now let's see why the Page of Cups. Let's see more details. Three of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so this person wants to apologize, but they haven't been doing so because 
they see you <clears throat> they see you that you have turned your back to them <clears throat> sorry so this person wants to apologize and message you but they haven't been talking because they have been very indecisive about the fact are you still interested into them or not because they see you as uh, you have turned your back towards them and you are ignoring them that's how they view you now let's see will they take any actions in the second week of november the star card they have some hopes there they want to take uh, an action uh, a movement a movement forward three of swords <clears throat> it may have been a third party situation for some of you and now they view you as being guarded they want to approach you and they may try to approach you as a friend first and test the waters but i see them being very hesitant so it's up to them now they are 50 percent to message you 50 percent not to do so they feel confused and indecisive but they miss you a lot with the six of cups at the bottom of the deck i will continue this reading in the extended where i want to view more details how does this person feel about you now how do they view you what are their intentions the mutual energies and the energies around each one of you if you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. See you in the next reading and bye for now.